All right, Kenman here, and today we have another longer box of glory. What is contained within? Let's get to it and find out. Before we start, this video was not sponsored by anyone. I purchased this at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. <laughs> if you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment down below. All right, it is a longer, a wider box today. I did not take my address off the other side, so we're just gonna do one of those with the old pyrite and <laughs> drop it on the table with grace. All right. And what do we have? Wow, anybody recognize this? An edge above the rest. Sticker got in the way. Kubi bag on the floor. Yes, indeed, we have another Kubi. Uh, several Kubis in the collection. Um, none of them in a box as such like this one. Anyone have an idea of what this could be? Get this film off of here. Straight to the floor. All right, an edge above the rest. Kubi knife, service at Kubi knife. Instagram, Kubi knives. There you go, you got all your info there. Made in China. Cool looking box. I like the design, the kind of topography lines kind of a. All right, release. There we go. It is out. Simple packaging setup here. We have a little card that I cannot get <laughs> free. Kubi, edge above the rest. All right, so let's get this out of the way. Just get to the knife in a huge bag. They seal up their stuff, so if it gets shipped in the rain and gets all wet, you're good to go. Do I need to cut this off completely? No. Half a bag on the floor. Other half of the bag on the floor. There it is. We have a fixed blade from Kubi. Boom. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. All right. We'll look at the sheath in a little bit here. Well, let's just soak this in. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I've eyed this one for a while now and uh, been interested in it and ended up uh, there was a nice little sale. So I decided to pick it up. This is the Kubi Quaken. The Quaken. Obviously a fixed blade. Everyday carry size fixed blade. Oh, what are we looking at? We have a 14C28N blade with a full tang, nice one solid piece of that steel all the way through there. Then we have these nice textured, ridged out Altum handles, scales, screwed in on there on both sides. You've got your lanyard hole, nice little kind of a ripple pattern and some bigger textured right there oh this is great who carries a fixed blade for like an edc i've been interested in it a little bit more checking out some i've given a few away on some of my giveaways i just uh, celebrated reaching 5k and gave away a few knives and um one of them was provided by one of the channel members uh, ken fixed he got one of the new uh, Kaiser fixed blades we gave away for that. So I've been looking at some of these smaller daily carry kind of fixies and want to test drive some of them out. And this one really has a look that I enjoy. And uh, here we are. I got one. Okay. So obviously, like I said, we got that Altum with that nice texture. You can kind of see through it there. You can kind of see the shadow of my hand underneath there. You can see the, see the inner skeletonized sections to reduce a little bit of the weight on that handle. Uh, nice looking ring for that lanyard if you want to put a lanyard on there, which I think I might try. I'll consider that. It's a shorter, smaller 
knife. It might fit good for that. Ooh, nice and sharp. Okay, stop soaking in. Let's talk. Let's talk here. So the lock type is fixed. <laughs> Does not uh, change. There is no opening types or anything like this. Here it is. It is centered perfectly. <laughs> Uh, no clip swap for the other side. There is the sheath though. So we have this Kydex sheath with that belt loop. So this drops in here, clicks in nice. So this has that, that fast release button. So you can do that instantly open this up to get this on your belt. So this kind of looks like I could take this out and put it on the other side. And this kind of an am and am words ambidextrous kind of a uh, a belt clip mount so you can have it on this side maybe have it on that side depending on how you want to carry if you're a lefty or a righty fairly simple little locks in there nice and tight but a little push with your thumb right there releases it lets it drop right out nice little sheath it'd be nice if there was a little maybe just a pocket clip so you could set the whole thing into a pocket Something to maybe look into if anyone knows of any sheaths for like upgrades like that with a pocket style kind of a attachment. Comment below. Let us know about it. Okay, so in the hand, it is smaller, but it feels nice. I can kind of really stretch out and get my pinky to kind of fall off. I do have a little bit larger hand. Um, there is this kind of notched out section right there for your kind of index finger to sit in and there are some jimps there's five little notches on there that feels nice kind of a nice little spot to lock in hold on to there's a nice rack of jimps on the back significantly more so there's five fairly spaced out here and then a good solid dozen or more on this side but that's great your index finger sits in those and then your thumb can sit right on that this is a worker i feel good about it Get that index on there, a nice size for opening up, doing some draw cuts, cutting some boxes. Uh, just a daily cutter, slicer. Maybe even use it for cutting up your, your meal. Feels like it's just nice and delicate in the hand. I love Ultim. Who likes Ultim? Fairly easy scales. I get that CNC up and running. This would be another candidate for making some custom scales. So we have, it says Kubi on this side right here. Then you got your Maker's Mark 14C28N right there, kind of all tucked up nice on this bead blasted kind of satiny finish uh, blade. Oh, this feels great. I'm excited to kind of carry this and test it out. Like I said, I kind of want to get more into carrying a fixed blade on a regular basis just to kind of see what I think about it. You know, maybe it'll be something that's not for me. Or maybe it's exactly what I want to do, right? The only way to find out is to kind of test it out, see what you think. Okay, let's get some close-ups. Real nice big close-up. I love the inspiration, the style, the look of this. Um, yeah, just that up sweep. That nice texture on there. So everyone think about this. Think about fixed blades in general. Enjoy them? Hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of them. I'd be interested in checking a few out. Definitely looked at uh, several from Kaiser. We'll look at one here in a second. Ooh. I do like the way that feels in the hand. That's something I'm going to be carrying this around for sure okay let's get the credentials definitely not full size under seven wants to be seven six and seven eighths probably at best blade is about three and an eighth if you were to go down to here you could maybe call it three and a quarter but it would be kind of a lie but you never know who's how they're going to do it. Um, just over three inches on that slightly curved belly of that blade. And then handle. 
three and three quarters, just about three and seven eighths. So a smaller offering, but as far as a fixed blade that you would maybe consider using for like a daily carry, I think this is a good size. I mean, there's definitely bigger fixed blades, but now you're looking at a little bit more um, size and handleability and I don't know, rather discreetness or just, you know, something that's just not so bulky on your side. This might be a really good one for those that want to try it out. All right. So 12, a little bit thicker blade. A lot of times a smaller knife like this might be 11. Maybe make it a little bit beefier just uh, because it's a fixed blade. Just give it a little more strength, power. A little bit thinner on the handle. Usually the handles could be close to even up to a half inch. That's definitely a little thinner at 0 0.36, 0 0.76 that way. All right, so let's weigh this up. Yeah, this is the type of fixed blade I could definitely get used to. Okay, around 1.7. It is light. Compare everything with the pyrite. We'll get that out in a second. 3.67, but it's obviously going to be bigger. This offering is a smaller fixie. 1.7. The groom from Kaiser is 2.1 so it's a little bit heavier I'm going to go ahead and get into some real stuff 7.6 for that buck <laughs> okay so what were we at 1.7 fairly light nice compact practical kind of a EDC fixie here from Kubi I am down all right like I said pyrite is a good not quite full size button lock folding EDC excellent daily carrying beast user um, size wise pyrite is just a little bit longer if you look at blade size blades about the same the Kubi might have a little bit more cutting surface just because it doesn't have that forward choil and the handle on the pyrite is maybe a quarter inch longer just a little bit bigger but I use that pyrite because it's a good common size it People either have one or they have a knife that they know is a similar size to it. So it's a good one for a comparison here on my channel. All right. We'll put that Buck 119 out. This is one of my favorites since I was a kid. Good old U.S. made Buck with a 6-inch blade. So that blade is literally almost the same length as this Quaken. Just for funsies, right? But yeah, why wouldn't you want to get one of these big old beastly bucks? Fantastic knife. Jason approved. <laughs> All right. And then I have this Kaiser Groom. This was one of the first ones I picked up for that. Checking out that daily carry uh, fixie. This one's nice. The handle on this is a little bit smaller. And you can see this kind of lanyard area kind of the... The altum on here ends right there, so this part kind of feels more like a skeletonized kind of section, a little bit smaller, a little less grippy. I do like the size and the feel of this. It is nice, um, but something about, I, I would almost enjoy this more if this hand was a full handle, like this shape right here. Get rid of this and then add another inch of this with this little bump out here if that makes sense, then I think this handle would feel a lot better, more comfortable in my hand personally. But I do like the size of this. I have carried around a couple times, and I, I am enjoying it. Um, but this one here, this Quaken, uh, see that handle, it fizz, fills my hand a little bit more. When I grab onto that, you can see there's this nice, full, a little bit wider butt, a little more thickness to kind of get a hold of. And that texture on there feels nice. So I really feel like this is a lot more comfortable personally for me as far as using and cutting than the groom. No offense to the groom. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to carry this Quaken around. Does anybody have one of these? If you do, uh, there is quite a few different color options. Uh, you get a black blade and then many different handle types. Um, but yeah, if you have one and you like it, comment below. Tell us what you like about it. Um, if you haven't uh, had a chance to watch the video on my groom, you can check it out up there. But uh, a lot of fixies uh, will be coming up. I'm checking out some more on the channel. I like to do customizations. I like to do 
um, folding knives, and I like these fixed blades. I'm going to look at more and more of them. And a couple more maybe from Kubi even. The Quaken. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.